Okay, today's notes is on CPC, and we're going to be solving triangles. So let's look at the first example. It says, given triangle BDC is congruent to triangle JKL, and then it says BD equals 3x minus 10, BC equals 2x plus 1, JL equals 3x minus 7, and JK equals x plus 6. Now we know that they are side lengths because they have two letters attached to them. Then we have angle J equals 10x minus 10, and angle B equals 8x plus 6. We know that these are angles because it says angle, and then it's one letter. And angles can be written as one letters or three letters. So let's go over here. Then it says label the given triangles with their appropriate parts. So we have triangle B, D, C, and we have triangle J, K, L. Now, B and J are the first letters, so they're congruent. D and K are the first letters, so the second letters, so they're congruent. C and L are the third letters, so they are congruent. Now we're going to label them because it says BD is 3x minus 10. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write 3x minus 10 because that's going to make it easier for me in the long run. It also says BC is 2x plus 1. We also have JL, which is 3x minus 7. So JL, 3x minus 7. And JK, x plus 6. The last thing we have, and I'm going to pick a different color, is we have angle J. So angle J right here, 10x minus 10. And we have angle B right here as 8x plus 6. So we have properly labeled the two triangles. Now we're going to go into part 2, and it says find the value of x. Well, we have three different ways that we can find the value of x. We have side BD, which is congruent to side BD, is congruent to side JK. And the way we know that is because we look here, at our congruent statement, BD first two letters, JK first two letters. So if they're congruent, we could set up this equation of 3X minus 10 equals X plus 6. And then we're going to solve for X that way. Subtract an X, subtract an X, you get 2X minus 10 equals 6. Add 10, add 10, you would get 2X equals 16. Divide by 2, and you get x equals 8. That was one way. Another way that we could do it is we could look at the angles, and we could say that angle J and angle B are congruent, again, from our congruent statement, and we could create this equation. 10x minus 10 equals 8x plus 6 equals sign. And then solve that because they are congruent, minus 8x minus 8x, 2x minus 10 equals 6, add 10, add 10, 2x equals 16, divide by 2, divide by 2, and they are the same, x equals 8. And you could also do it for the third set of sides, 2x plus 1 equals 3x minus 7, and you would get the same answer. Now we're going to move to question number 3, and it says use x to find the lengths of the sides. So we know that x equals 8. So BD, and I'm going to say, show my work and be organized. So I'm going to write BD is equal to 3x minus 10. So I'm going to substitute my 8 in there, because that's what x equals. 3 times 8 is 24, minus 10 is 14. So BD is 14. I'm going to go to the next one, and I'm going to go for BC. So I have found BC, and again, I'm going to label it, is equal to 2x plus 1. And again, x is 8, so 2 times 8 plus 1 would be 16 plus 1 is 17. We have JL. Now, we notice that JL 
is congruent to BC. So therefore, I would say BC is congruent to JL. So they should be the same, but let's check. Um, three times eight minus seven, three times eight is 24, minus seven would be 17. And then JK, again, is congruent to BD, so that should be 14. Now I'm gonna check it right here. JK is X plus six, so eight plus six is 14. And that's how you figure those out. The last part, it says use X to find your angle measures, angle J and angle B. Well, if you look back up top at the paper, you see that angle B is equal to eight X plus six and angle J is equal to 10 X minus 10. When we substitute our values in, you go eight times eight plus six, angle B equals, angle B equals eight times eight is 64, plus six would be 70 degrees. And then 10 times 8 minus 10, that would be 80 minus 10 equals 70 degrees. So again, 70 degrees. Sorry for the pause there. I was trying to figure that out. And uh, that's how you do it. Okay, so draw the picture, make your congruent parts, then come down here to solve for x or whatever variable they give you. Make your congruent parts, make your equation, and then substitute the value of x in for your congruent pieces. Okay? Try the two for homework. Have a good night.